I saw Sarah lying there dead. Blood was everywhere, but especially by her head. I could see her, her insides. A man was in the cloak was running off into the street, but I didn't get no good look at him. I didn't see no more than that, sir, honest. I, I just run in here and fainted, I guess. Next thing I know, Mr. Carruthers is waving his coat in my face. Do you know of any do you know any of her friends or relatives? No, sir, not personally. I didn't know I didn't even know Sarah very well, but about a week ago Sarah got this pendant. Big ugly thing it was. She said it was from her sister. I believe her name was Anna or Hannah, but I don't know where she lives. Do you know the secret admirer, the person who gave her these flowers? No, and neither did Sarah. She never was one who to appreciate gifts from strangers. She liked these and decided to keep them. Tonight, just tonight, she told me I could throw them out if I had a mind to. Now the inspector has told me to touch nothing until he completes his investigation. How am I supposed to get dressed? So sad. Too bad I've stolen so many things. This perfume was a gift, wasn't it? Do you know who gave it to her? She said it was from her special friend, but I know nothing of him. He called for her here from time to time, but she was very secretive, always making sure everyone was away before she brought him up. As far as I know, he's the only man to see the inside of this room, other than Mr. Carruthers. I have no idea why she didn't want to show him off. Do you know anyone who could be responsible for this brutal attack? I didn't know anyone on earth could do such a thing as what was done to her. But now I know there are monsters in this world for certain, but I can't believe they are friends of mine, or Sarah's for that matter. What was your relationship to Miss Carraway? What, is he expecting something, some life story? I was her understudy. We were performing the play Lovers of Hattie Hill, and Sarah was Sarah has the lead. I play Beth the servant girl, but I understudy the lead in in case in case Oh I, I just I can't bear to think about it. Can you direct me to anyone who might help me learn more about Miss Carraway? No, sir. I'm sorry. Like I said, I didn't know her very well. She was very protective of her personal life. Okay, let's get out. Doesn't look like much pictures. Boxboard portraits of several notable London stage actors of the previous generation are glued securely to the wall. The mirror is one solid piece of glass with no removable back. The nooks and crannies of the carved mirror frame, which is poorly painted in a dingy yellow to look like gold, reveal nothing out of the ordinary. Doesn't look like much else to look at. Let's Let's get out of here. I'm sorry, Mr. Holmes. The bolt has jammed the lock until I pry it loose or replace the spring mechanism. You won't be able to open. You won't be able to use the door. God, he's trapped me. Well, now it's time to look at our inventory and take a look at what we've got here. Let's see. We've got the cigarette butts. Several crushed cigarette butts. They're a common variety. Available anywhere in London. Let's see. A theater playbill. Ah, oh, that's interesting. There's nothing scrawled here. Uh, the playbill is dated two nights ago. On the back is a message which appears to be hastily scrawled. S. Meet me outside the stage door after the show. I have important news. B. S. S could be Sarah, I guess. But who's B? Iron bar. This two-foot section of iron pipe. Both ends are corroded by rust. There is a trace of red paint at the at one end. We saw that pottery specimen we saw. The specimen was extracted from the wool of Sarah Carraway's dress. The sample was located at the point of the mur where the murderer first inserted the fatal blade. There is not enough su substance to identify it unequivocally by eye, but it smells distinctly of camphor. An envelope is sufficient to hold such a small amount. Let's see. The spring? Steel spring attached to the square mass. Wait, he said it was missing a spring, wasn't he? Let's take a look at everything else first before we try to use the spring. 
a pink carnation with dark veins in the petals. Let's see, we already read this, and let's see here. And we already read this. Okay. So, let's see if that spring can help Mr. Carruthers. So we use give the spring to Mr. Carruthers. I believe this spring may be helpful in repairing the lock. Why, yes, thank you. I believe that's just the piece I need. I'll be finished in the moment if my fingers don't fail me. Let's get out of here. Let's see if Lestrade reveals anything extra. Nothing else. So we have Sarah Carraway's flat, or 221B Baker Street. Let's take a look at Sarah Carraway's flat, shall we? After that, we'll head back to 221B Baker Street. There are a few things that we can do there, too. Analyze some evidence and stuff. Oh, it's a pretty... well... It's a flat. Hey, it's a place to live, right? A mass-produced brass bed, forged as a series of tubes. For aesthetic reasons, the manufacturer has fitted the tops of the tubes with highly decorative, hollow caps. They are convenient, though obviously hidey holes for small objects. They are sometimes known as the poor man's bank. A few coppers and half crown are wedged into the left cap of the bed. It is impossible to say whether these caps have ever held anything else. Well, I guess we can close them. Doesn't seem to be anything of evidence. Let's see. Bookshelf. The simple wooden shelf holds a half dozen assorted to penny novels. I assume, I assume that's the British version of a dime novel. And the Holy Bible. The shelf area is messy. Books are open, spines on one or two titles are broken. Poorly kept. A standard two-drawer dresser, filled with cheap cotton underclothes, stockings, and jumpers. A cheap reproduction of Gainsborough's stunning portrait of, of the Duchess of Devonshire, nicknamed the Stolen Duchess, since the daring theft of the original from a Bond Street theater and Bond Street Gallery in 1876. Fairly clean and tidy, if you ask me. What's what's in the laundry basket? A capacious wicker basket of the type manufactured in Singapore and sold in nearly every street market in the metropolis. This one contains a conventional assortment of dirty laundry. Among the sheets is a f among the sheets, towels and female undergarments is a man's orange colored rugby sweater. Huh. Rugby sweater. That's interesting. It sounded like she maybe this sweater belongs to the special someone. Let's take a closer look, shall we? A man's rugby sweater with the colors and the insignia of the Kensington Rugby Club. The back of the collar is heavily stained with, maca with Macassar oil, and a few black hairs are embedded into the fibers of the wool. Now, so we're looking for someone who oils his hair and has got black hair to boot. What else is here? Let's see if we look at. What is this? The umbrella. This is an old and shapeless plastic brawly, which has clearly survived a number of seasons. The blue maslin fabric is faded, and it is dry despite the wet weather outside. There is a slight bulge in the fabric near the tip. Let's 